Hey, it's Fresh in the Flesh, here to give you my best for the last breath. I'm here with Yaya, my buddy, motivational speaker, confidence coach, and I'm here today to ask him about morning rituals. So why are morning rituals absolutely, incredibly imperative in everyone's life? Because you get to have more sex. <laughs> Just like, oh, probably um, result of it. Well, I think I think the very important point is whether you want to have a morning ritual or not. You you already have rituals in mm. general. Some are more. Be automatic. aware of that. That's right. Yeah. So you have rituals regardless. Some rituals is like the first thing you do is you get on on your phone, check your Instagram, your that's, Snapchat, that's, that's a, Facebook. I think that's the worst thing you could. Worst do. thing you could do. Check your You're emails. You're in a state. Yep. Right yep, away. Yep, yep. So what I. Most now, people do that. Let, let me be clear about something. I'm just going to be dead ass honest. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm probably not the best person to talk about morning rituals okay. because I, I have, I've had different rituals. Well, you've I've ex explored and experimented with a bunch. So there were times when I would wake up at like five o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. you know, and try that out. And I would go, like I would meditate and then I would go to the gym uh, okay. then I would do that. Um, were you intentional about it? I was intentional Good. about it, but it's, it's crazy because my body also wasn't ready for it. I, ironically enough, like I was just too exhausted. I did it for like about four months, and so because I value my health and like my my physiology right. a lot, my immediate ritual is to listen to what my body needs. Mm -hmm. Listen to your body. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's my first. My and ritual. then still go through the resistance of creating a ritual. Yes. Yes. So it's, it's, it's kind yes. Of this, this so dance, this now dance. what I do is I wake up and I meditate for about twenty minutes. Okay. Russell you Simmons know. does that as well. Yes. I I do that sometimes. Right. First thing. And then I go to um, the gym, okay. and I train for about two and a half hours. That is my that is my main ritual. Okay. Without it, I feel very ungrounded. So, meditation then gym. Yeah. And how far is your gym from here? It's about ten minutes. Okay. Got yeah. It. So. And you drive there? I drive there. What do you listen to? Anything? I listen to audiobooks. Bingo. So See? that's another, yeah, that's another ritual. I, I listen, but it's, it's been so automatic that I forget mm -hmm. that I do it. Yes. I don't listen to the radio. Um, yeah, just audiobooks. Lovely. I have a bunch of books on, on, um, on my, uh, aud what is it? Audi not audio. Audible? Audible. Audible. There you Audible. go. I was going to say audio jungle. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, then I come back. I break my fast, so oh. I eat something, so I run one o'clock. I've been doing this little fast thing too. It's powerful. Yeah, man. I, I, feel, I feel so I'm much better. I'm not hungry either, so it's like, it's okay to do about noon to like three yeah you do it that's a commonality and a congruency i'm finding a lot of people yeah and so once i break my fat so it's basically like a, a green shake and right, a protein shake eat? um so i have the what i break my fast with is grass-fed whey protein okay um organified green juice which is like mm -hmm. all my like spirulina chlorella all you know all that good stuff uh chia seeds i have mm, mct oil um and a, a tablespoon of peanut butter boom and then i drink my Three fish oils, uh, sorry, not fish oils, omega 3s, my three pills of omega 3s, my biotin, my vitamin D3, um, my probiotics, and anytime I eat, I have enzymes. So those are the rituals oh, that I have. Very so, effective. So I wouldn't say I have Top a morning. morning. Yeah, morning ritual, I, I don't really see it as a morning ritual. I have rituals throughout with yeah. certain things. Overall that positive I have. lifestyle you're living. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I like to look at the whole, you know, I think more a morning ritual is like a part. And you think it's an uh, important part? It's you a know? very, very important part. I think it's part. like the rudder of the day where it's like the whole, it's going to follow. The rest you know, of the day you know what's great? You know, this is something I've been experimenting. Your effectiveness in the morning mm -hmm. is based on how effective your nightly ritual is. Ooh! Yes, that's most a people very overlook that. Part. So what most people yeah, do? Yeah, please tell me a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, so, so they interesting. So they they um you know they watch a bunch of videos of people writing journals and doing that kind of yeah. stuff. And they're like, okay, I gotta wake up. I gotta walk out. You know, take a walk at five o'clock or do a run at five o'clock in the morning or do something at five o'clock in the morning. But they're fucking exhausted. Yeah. What so, the night before? so yeah. So what is your nightly ritual? Mm. And what you find the nightly ritual for most people is that, you know they go to sleep around eleven or twelve o'clock, or they're on they're on their phones. They can't really yep. get adequate sleep. The blue light's hitting your eyes. Right. How are you sleeping? Are you is right. it interrupted? Is it a light coming in exactly. your room? Multiple things. What do you eat right before you go to bed? What yes. are you eating before you go to bed? Do you plan your day? Mm. Yes. yes. So I think it's a, a mixture of. So for me, what I do at night is I disconnect from technology at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. All technology. I, I, I do my best. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. And you can get the, the thing on your computer, laptop. It's called, uh, I forget what it's called, but you just get the blue light on there. Right. Now, I, the reason why I disconnect like around 6 o'clock is because, you know, I'm not single. I have my wife and I want to prioritize my relationship just mm -hmm. as much as my work. So, yes. 
So I make sure I have some intimacy time, not not connection on virtual technology and disconnection with human interaction. So I find a way to connect with my wife, and for some reason, every time I connect with a human being, yeah. I sleep better. Ah, it's relaxing, especially physical. You mentioned physical touch; it relaxes you. So I was right. You get massage. <laughs> massage. <laughs> Massage makes you really relax. Yeah. It's human contact. I recently saw a post on Instagram. It was like a, a universe, like a mm-hmm. space, and it was a person mm-hmm. shaped, and it like human shaped, mm-hmm. but there was a space in between. Mm-hmm. And it says, we're just the universe, and we just want to connect with mm-hmm. another, you know, like another amazing universe at a time. So right, it's really right. So it's important to connect, at, especially at night and morning. I'm, I'm an extrovert. I like... I, if I talk to people in the morning, I'm energized and ready to go. Mark Gama, <laughs> he was opposite. Yeah, he needs yeah. his space. He's an introvert. Right. He needs his space. So knowing yourself is important too. But uh, you mentioned the nightly ritual, which is very important. Mm-hmm. And however you relax yourself at the end of the night and whatever makes your night. You, do you want to burn the midnight oil? Maybe not all all cases. Maybe that's not best for you. When are you most effective? Yeah. Some really good things I got out of this. Yeah, one thing that's also important. You mentioned extrovert and introvert. Mm-hmm. And what we're, what we're really talking about morning ritual is that how you manage your energies, right? Your, your energy in general. So I, I define being an extrovert or an introvert based on how a person manages their energy, mm-hmm. or how the person refuels their energy levels. Yep. So That's a person who's an introvert, in my opinion, they, they, they recharge and refuel when they're alone, when they have their own space. Exactly. You know, a person who's an extrovert, they recharge and refuel when they're with company. Yes. So, for example, me, although I can speak to thousands of people, I'm mm-hmm. okay in, in social situations and interactions, I, based on how I manage my energy, I'm an introvert. So yeah. I need to kind of go in, I need my space That's and my why time. you have that time at night and in the morning. Right. Because it's most, and then you can do your work in the day. Right. But some people, they, maybe their morning ritual is not being alone. Very important key. If you're an extrovert, right, your morning ritual might be I need to be surrounded with other people who are positive, who can inspire me so we can start talking. Yep. And, and that's how we start our day. It could be a phone call. I do these things where I do right. accountability calls or a phone call or even watch a video if I don't have anyone around me and I'm engaging with something right. to start the day. Yeah. And so, so, so the people who think that this is kind of like sidetrack, mm-hmm. but many people associate being shy with being introverted, being outgoing with being extroverted. My point is you can be a shy extrovert and an outgoing introvert. The whole point of you being an introvert or an extrovert is based upon how you manage your energy levels. Mm -hmm. So based on your personality type, my question for you is, one, are you shy or are you outgoing? The second question is, are you an introvert or are you an extrovert? And then the third question is, once you figure out whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, how can you use your rituals, morning, uh, afternoon, evening, nightly, whatever. Even in the day. Too. Even during the day. How can you use that to support your specific environment, your internal environment, whether it be introversion or extroversion? Does right. that make any sense? Yeah. That That's sense. a powerful perspective and it's different. Yeah. It's valuable. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of people, what they can do is they can lose sight with copying what right. other people are doing for... The rituals. They feel like totally. Oh, I I People gotta do this. People experiment and they test it and take it as an experiment and a test. Right. And they think this is the only way. No, you gotta try different ways. Even with this program right now, I want you to experiment different ways in your morning ritual and yep. your nightly ritual as well. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Awesome. Where's the best place they can find you, Yaya? Go to theconfidenceblueprint.com. You can find me on YouTube. Just type in my name or go visit my website, yaibacar.com. Sensational. Thank you so much. You got like a favorite quote you want to add? Favorite book too? Uh, favorite quote is a quote that I actually said when I was in the midst of an argument with someone. Ooh, that's uh, different. Yeah. It takes a bigger person to be more loving than right. Loving than right. Drops the ego. Yeah. That's, and, and just, it, just it, just, it just It just forces me to, to prioritize what's important. Always, in all ways, which is a relationship. And, and you know what? That comes back to your morning ritual again. What's most important? Yep. And, and morning ritual is very most important. And if you focus on your most important thing during the day, be unstoppable. Stay fresh. Stay blessed. Peace. Peace. Woo! <laughs>